calculating total quantity from a fraction. If 1 fourth is 24, then what is the total quantity? So what they're simply saying that 1 fourth of a certain number or a certain quantity is 24. And if 1 fourth is 24, then what is the whole quantity? What is the total number? So it is uh, quite easy. To find out the answer, you simply have to change this side of the equation to a whole quantity, to a quantity of 1. And to do that, you simply multiply this part of the equation by a reciprocal fraction. So this is 1 fourth. Reciprocal fraction means 4 over 1, the exactly opposite of it. Okay, so that would be 4 over 1 multiplied by 1 over 4, which is equal to 24. And when you do that, you have to multiply this side of the equation after this is equal to sign by the reciprocal number as well, reciprocal fraction as well, so 4 over 1. So this 4, this 4 will cancel out. This is now equal to 1 over 1 or or the whole quantity, just 1. And then 24 times 4 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16, carry over 1, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, 9, 96 over 1. So whole quantity is equal to 96. So I'll do it again. 1 fourth is equal to 24. And to convert this side of the equation to a whole quantity, we have to multiply it by a reciprocal fraction of 1 fourth. Okay? And the reciprocal fraction of 1 fourth would be 4 over 1. And when you do that to this side of the equation, you have to do the same thing to this side of the equation as well. So you have to multiply 24 by 4 over 1 as well. So these will cancel out. This side of the equation is 1 over 1 or simply 1. And 24 times 4 is equal to 96 over 1 or or one whole is equal to 96 okay so 96 is your answer 96 two fifth of a quantity or of a number is 40 then what is the whole quantity same deal two fifth is equal to 40 okay to, you have to convert this side of the equation to a whole quantity to just one so multiply it by a reciprocal fraction which would be 5 over 2 just flip it over so 5 over 2 and when you do that to, to this side of the equation you have to do exactly the same thing to this side of the equation so you have to multiply 40 by 5 over 2 as well so these 5 will cancel out and these 2 will cancel out this side of the equation is now 1 over 1 or just simply 1 so 40 times 5 is equal to 200 and then there's a 2 here and this 2 will 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 100 is 100 so 1 1 over 1 is equal to 100 over 1 or the whole quantity is equal to 100 okay so this was 96 this is 100 okay so two-fifths of a certain quantity is 20 then what is the total quantity two-fifth is equal to 20 and again you have to convert you have to get rid of this fraction you have to make it a whole quantity and to do that multiply it by a reciprocal fraction 5 over 2 just flip it over and then when you do that on this side of the equation you have to do this on this side of the equation so 5 over 2 as well so this 5 will cancel out these two will cancel out 20 so this is 1 over 1 now and 20 times 5 is 100 over 2 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 50 is 100 so this is 1 over 1 is equal to 50 over 1 or 1 is equal to 50 all right so the whole quantity is 50 so this is equal to 50 1 tenth is equal to 10 then what is the total quantity so 1 tenth is equal to 10 
to convert this into a whole fraction or a whole number you multiply it by a reciprocal fraction 10 over 1 and when you do that on this side of the equation you have to do the same thing on this side of the equation as well so 10 over 1 then we'll cancel out 10 times 10 is 100 okay 100 over 1 and this is already 1 over 1 so 1 over 1 is equal to 100 over 1 or 1 is equal to 100 so the whole quantity is equal to 100 answer to this one is 100 3 fourth of a certain quantity is 5 then what is the total quantity uh, very simple same thing 3 over 4 is equal to 5 you have to convert this side of the equation to a whole quantity to 1 you multiply it by a reciprocal fraction 4 over 3 and when you multiply this side of the equation by 4 over 3 you multiply this side of the equation by 4 over 3 as well okay so this 4 will cancel out these two 4s these 3 will cancel out so this is 1 or already one whole quantity 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 divided by 3 which is this 3 here okay so I'll simply use calculator to save time uh, 20 20 divided by 3 is equal to 6.66 okay so the answer to this one is 6.66 3 seventh of a certain quantity is 30 3 seventh is equal to 30 then what is the whole quantity what is the total quantity so convert this side of the equation to a whole quantity and to do that multiply it by a reciprocal fraction which is 7 over 3 and multiply this by uh, also by a reciprocal fraction so these two sevens will cancel out this one will cancel out 7 times 30 is 210 over 3 so 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 7 is 20 1 3 times 0 is 0 so this is 70 over 1 and this is already 1 over 1 so 1 over 1 is equal to 70 over 1 1 is equal to 70 so answer to this one is 70 okay as simple as that Thank you very much.